What's up, everybody? This is Ebb Friday, and today we are going to talk about um, scaling footage. So, um, usually when you shoot on a DSLR, um, when you want to do slow motion or 60 frames a second, you would have to shoot in 1280 by 720. Um, most of the times you are shooting at 24 frames a second, and um, it's 1920 by 1080. So when you bring in a 1280 piece of footage into a 1920 by 1080p project, um, you're going to have to scale that up. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really simple. So today we are in Premiere Pro uh, CC. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, New, Sequence. Um, we're going to open up a 1080, 24 frames a second project. <clears throat> and then we're going to drag in the 720. Um, we're going to drag in the 720 um, footage. Um, you're going to get this box. It's going to say, do you want to change the sequence? No, I don't. So we're going to keep the existing sequence. Um, and once you put the... Uh, once you put the cursor over the footage, you can see that it's smaller than 1920 by 1080. So the quickest way to fix this would be you would want to right click on the, on the video file and you're going to go to scale to frame size. Now that you scale to frame size, it's been scaled to 1920 by 1080 and looks good. Okay, so here's another situation. Let's say you want to um, you want to mimic the anamorphic like or you know um, more cinematic type of aspect ratio so let's go to sequence new sequence um, and let's say you want to do 1920 by 816 which is equivalent to a 2.35 um, aspect ratio um, okay so we're going to change that we're going to click OK so now you have a nice cinematic screen. Um, let's try to drag this footage in and see what happens. Uh, you're going to get the same message. You want to keep the same sequence. Um, so now that you put the you put the footage in and it's still small. So what you want to do now is you want to right click, scale to frame size. Now that you scale to frame size, you have the two sides that still needs to be scaled. So what you're going to do now is you're going to click on the footage go to effects controls motion and where it says scale you want to scale it to 136 hit enter and there you go okay so um, I hope this uh, helps um, don't forget to subscribe um, like the video, and if you have any questions, leave comments, and I'll get back to you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.